At the Budapest World Championships, the artistic swimming event took a big turn when one of the divers passed out and slowly sank to the bottom of the pool. I knew she was okay. There's um, a way that you press very hard the nail, but it creates adrenaline for you to wake up. So she woke up like, Wah! This is the story of a diver who escaped from a near-death situation. In the field of synchronized swimming, where grace, accuracy, and athleticism combine in a stunning show of creativity, one name stands out, Anita Alvarez. With her exceptional talent, devotion, and passion for the sport, Alvarez has emerged as a real luminary, fascinating audiences and inspiring athletes all over the world. She was born on December 2, 1996, in New York. She attended Kenmore West Senior High School, graduated in 2014 and started her professional synchronized swimming career after graduation. Anita Alvarez's interest in synchronized swimming began at a young age, fueled by a passion for the water and a natural ability to move in rhythm. Alvarez was born and raised in a swimming family. Her mother participated in the 1984 U.S. Olympic trials and placed seventh. Her father has coached two Olympians. Her grandfather was in charge of all the off-ice officials in the 1980 Olympic Games, and he was the timekeeper of the Miracle on Ice hockey game in Lake Placid, New York. The family's deep connection to the Olympics has greatly influenced her passion for sports and competition. Growing up surrounded by such a rich Olympic history has inspired her to pursue her own athletic dreams. So her early years were spent polishing her talents in the pool, memorizing intricate routines, and perfecting her technique with the help of dedicated trainers. As Alvarez's talent grew, so did her ambition. With unrelenting tenacity and a ferocious competitive spirit, she soon progressed through the ranks of the synchronized swimming world, winning awards and acclaim at both the national and international levels. Her performances were distinguished by a distinct blend of athleticism and artistry, as she captivated audiences with fluid movements and excellent timing. But it wasn't only Alvarez's technical abilities that set her apart. It was her love of the sport and unwavering commitment to excellence that truly established her as a synchronized swimming superstar. Whether she was practicing relentlessly in the pool or honing her routines on dry land, Alvarez tackled every area of her trade with the same degree of enthusiasm and commitment, pushing herself to new heights and motivating those around her to follow suit. Throughout her lengthy career, Alvarez has proudly represented her country, participating on the international arena and winning medals and acclaim for her outstanding achievements. Perhaps more importantly, she has served as a role model and mentor for aspiring synchronized swimmers, passing on her knowledge, experience, and passion for the sport to the next generation of competitors. I joined full-time training, which required me to move across country, leave my family back in New York, and I'm- Alvarez finished ninth in the women's duet at the 2016 Summer Olympics, partnering Maria Koroleva. She is a member of the United States Synchronized Swimming National Team. She competed in the 2015 World Championships in Kazan and the 2014 Junior World Championships. Alvarez previously coached intramural swimming in Western New York. As coach for the Walnut Creek Aquanuts, she led them to the 2019 Junior Olympics in Buffalo. New York. She qualified to compete for the United States in the women's duet at the 2020 Summer Olympics, partnered Lindy Schroeder. The pair placed 13th in their preliminary round, failing to advance to the final. But this 26-year-old Olympian became so famous after the fainting incident. She lost consciousness at an Olympic qualifying event in 2021 and again at the World Aquatics Championships in June 2022. The terrifying photograph from the most recent occurrence earned her a spot on Time Magazine magazine's top 100 photos of 2022. Only one year later, there were no signs of worry when Alvarez and her team finished second at the Global Championships in Fukuoka, Japan in July, their first podium finish in 10 years. Later in an interview, she said this, I remember getting to the end of the routine and not feeling like I had much control, Alvarez says. I hit the last pose and I remember feeling like I was in a hamster wheel. Everything was spinning, then went dark. I woke up at the side of the pool and realized I'm at a competition. Wait, I am the competition. Everyone's staring at me. Andrea Fuentes, Team USA's head coach, dove in fully clothed to save her during this time. She gained massive media publicity, and many people raised concern on this matter. There was a huge debate on country training their participants heavily for various events and how it is affecting their health adversely. She returned to competition in March 2023, just nine months after passing out and sinking to the bottom of the pool. As part of her return, Alvarez underwent extensive 
extensive testing with the goal of exceeding the physical stress experienced at the Budapest World Championships, all while being carefully watched and wearing monitors. The testing involved repeating the world's regimen frequently, sprinting 25 meters both above and below the water, pushing harder and harder with her teammates urging her on from the deck. Eventually, the doctor decided that she had been pushed far enough and that her load was surpassing that of Navy SEALs. Those tests, along with others, ruled out neurological and cardiovascular issues, resulting in her getting permission to compete from World Aquatics. Now Alvarez and her team will rely heavily on the next Pan American Games Olympic qualifier in Santiago, Chile. A first-place finish will guarantee a seat at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. Without it, their next opportunity to qualify would be at the World Championships in February. It has been a kind of rebuild after our team just missed qualifying for the Tokyo Games, Alvarez shared. Despite the team's loss, Alvarez competed and qualified for her second Olympics in the women's duet free routine. Unfortunately, she missed out in the finals by less than a point. For Pan Ams, I'm just competing in the team event and putting all my focus and energy there, she told the crowd. She also said that she want her whole team, which has eight people, to be Olympians. Currently, the team consists of athletes aged 17 to 44. Alvarez talked about the importance of team dynamics and how understanding each team member helps them succeed. As a seasoned athlete and the longest serving member of the national team, Alvarez aims to set a good example not only for her teammates but also for future generations. As we reflect on Anita Alvarez's incredible career, we are reminded of sports' transforming potential to inspire, unify, and uplift. Her journey from wannabe swimmer to synchronized swimming sensation exemplifies the infinite power of hard effort, devotion, and unrelenting drive. Alvarez has left an unforgettable impression on the world of synchronized swimming, whether she is gliding easily through the water or dazzles audiences with her creative flair. She will continue to inspire and motivate athletes for years. Anita Alvarez's aquatic grace and exceptional talent have cemented her place as a synchronized swimming star. Her enthusiasm for the sport, unshakable devotion to success, and dedication to inspire others serve as bright examples of what can be accomplished through hard work, determination, and a love of what you do. As we honor her accomplishments and legacy, let us be motivated to follow our own passions with the same zeal, determination, and elegance. If you liked the video, do like and subscribe our channel for more such inspiring stories.